Hey everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Japan Wizard. If you like my channel, subscribe. In this episode, I'd like to show you a small change, but it might be uh, very helpful for you for managing uh, permissions. So I'm now in the team site, and if I want to see uh, what are the permissions, I'll go to the gear icon, site permissions, and if I go to the classical advanced uh, settings, I'll see here that I have the default uh, uh, SharePoint groups, the owner, members, and visitors. Here I created a SharePoint group that's called a sample uh, group. In addition, I can, if I want, I could use also and add um, Active Directory groups. So in my case, I have um, groups that start with SEC. I can add this SEC, uh, HR, and IT. I can show you also um, how they're created in the admin center. So under Active Teams and Groups, Security Groups, I created a SEC at SPHR and SEC at SPIT. So this is uh, maintained by the administrators. So um, we saw here actually um, groups. And actually what we want to do is I'll go to one of the document libraries and I'll go to a folder and I want to see um, what permissions are on this folder. So currently people, I don't have anyone specific in the groups. Uh, I see many groups. I see the owner, I see the visitor, I see the members, I see the security groups, but notice below the group, I see that this uh, visitor is actually a SharePoint group, and so is the members, members group. But the security group is called a modern group. I'm not sure why they use that, but it's, I guess, uh, to identify between a SharePoint group, which is something that was is created, and uh, you can put within the SharePoint group uh, individual uh, permissions, and also Active Directory groups. Um, so you notice here, here's a sample group. This was something that I created. The security groups um, are defined as more than group. One, one thing to notice that we have the owner here once as a SharePoint group, and second time we have it as a more than. The reason is that because when in the team site, there's actually a security group for the owners. How do we see this? If I go to the gear icon and I go to site permissions and I will go to the advance. Uh, within the owners group, which is a SharePoint group, we don't see anything. But if we go to the site collection admin, we will see actually that there's a US sales owner. And this is actually uh, something which is part of the group, but it has its um, specific uh, uh, AD group. So we saw actually that this um, information actually that is provided gives us much easier way to know actually uh, what type of um, group it is. Just to show you, uh, um, by the way, the AD group is maintained by uh, the admin, and each time he can add or remove. But you always this group. Now, uh, the difference between a SharePoint group and an AD group is actually if we go to site permissions and advance, you will see that uh, I will let's create a new group. Okay. So I can give it a name. Let's call it the SharePoint group demo. And I can put the group owner. I can um, set the membership and I can assign a permission level. So let's say uh, we want to give read and we will create it. Now, what will happen here by default, it added me as a member. Uh, what you can do here, actually, 
uh, you can add here either individual people. So I'll click on new and add a user. Let's say we'll add Alex. We could have uh, multiple individuals. Uh, Ligu. Yeah, let's. And what we can also do is to add within this shepherd group also AD groups. So if I put here sec, I could put this. So a shopping group is an um, object where you can put multiple things, both individual, both AD. In comparison, uh, if we add the Active Directory group uh, directly, you can only maintain it uh, through the management of the AD. So if you, we just go here, you see, if I add uh, an AD group, let's add it directly, you will see that actually uh, it's, it's added. Let's see. Where did it add it? Oh no, let's try again. Grant sec, uh, here we are. Okay, it assigned it to one of the groups. Let's just give it a read. And now you will see that actually, if I look at it, this is something that I cannot add directly here, more things in the shop. And we can see this is a domain group, a shopping group. So it's something that you can um, maintain uh, by yourself, individuals. In some organizations, they actually say, don't use SharePoint groups because it's very hard to maintain individually uh, uh, and AD groups is managed uh, easily. But it, it really depends on how you work. So just to notice that uh, if we use the team, um, you will see in the members, there's a group called uh, US Sales Members. Not sure why it's not. Uh, so if we use this, and add this, it should write actually, um, it should write this as a modern group. So I have added it directly uh, here. Now let's see what we see. One, two, three, something is not showing. Let's try again. Maybe it's not possible. Here we go. So I don't want to, I want to put it here and I want to refresh. It does not do that. Okay. So I would, so this is actually, actually what I wanted to show you. So uh, now we can uh, use this um, additional description to identify between modern groups, SharePoint groups, and uh, the owner groups. If you like my channel, subscribe, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.